Welcome to another EUP1501 portfolio tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll focus on section B of the portfolio. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please make sure that you subscribe to get access to the latest videos the moment that we post them. If you'd like to contact us, please use the number provided on the screen. In this tutorial session, we'll focus on number three. We have already discussed number one and number two. And if you're struggling to access those videos, please go to our YouTube channel, then click on playlist, then go to EUP1501 portfolio, then you'll get the videos. Okay, so here's the question. It states that uh, we need to describe the type of drone that is selected one page we need to talk about the hardware and software some of the examples that they've given us is that we can talk about the speed the camera quality smart modes flight time uh, range difficulty and playfulness okay but how do you describe the drone okay where do you get the information most of the information that you need for this question are found in your product description and the product description is normally found in the website where you found your drone or where you selected the drone or in a catalog okay so if you use takealot.com the product descri uh, product uh, description will be at the bottom okay so for my my uh, question or for my portfolio i've actually chosen the 16 liter agricultural drone and the model is a uh, hgs uh, t16 you don't have to worry too much about the model you don't have to say a lot about that okay but the most important thing that you need to be able to do in this uh, question is to differentiate between hardware and software okay by hardware we refer to the physical or tangible components of the drone i'll show you examples later on by software Software is a collection of instructions that tell a device how to work, okay? So, let us talk more about uh, hardware. Okay, as I've already stated that hardware refers to the physical or tangible components of the drone. So, when we talk about hardware, we talk about things that we can touch. Uh, you can touch your propellers, okay? In this uh, list, I've, I've included like that my drone has like six propellers. I don't know, yours may might have four. It might have no propellers at all. It might have, I don't know, it might have a, a, a different system, okay? So, it, it mine has six propellers. It has sensors. The sensors are used like to avoid obstacles. They are called obstacle avoid, avoidance sensors. It has a camera. The camera is a 42 megapixel RGB camera with multi-spectral sensors. You see, I'm talking about things that you can touch, things that are actually physical. Okay, while I'm talking about these things, there are, there's other information that you can you can use, okay, to actually uh, describe the hardware. You can talk about the flight time. Flight time is not is not a physical component but it's determined by a physical component. So it, it can be determined, your flight time can be determined by the weight, uh, the type of battery that is being used, okay? Yeah, so some of the components like that actually affect your flight time. So in describing or in explaining, okay, uh, the different types of uh, hardware, you can use some of this uh, additional information to give more information about how the drone works okay so here we've mentioned the propellers the sensors the camera and also the control system the flight control system is very important so this is another component as much as it is not like directly it is not a part of the drone but it is one of the components that are needed to actually control the drone right so you need to mention that the remote control system. So my drone uses the uh, Microtech uh, V7 HG. You don't really have to know the model. You just have to mention that, okay, it is a, a remote controller, 
okay so and then you might state features of the remote controller if it can okay whatever it uses the range okay and all that so so the 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 transmission system in the drone can communicate with what with the uh, remote controller up to a distance of 15 kilometers so there is communication between what between the the remote controller and the the drone for like uh, even in a distance of about like 15 kilometers so remember a transmission system is a physical component there is an actual component in that drone which is responsible for transmission right okay so that is a physical or tangible component okay so other additional components like for my case are, are actually specific to what to irrigation so the drone has a 16 liter tank okay it uses a spraying system which is a pressure pressure spraying system that has a a, a, a spraying flow of five five liters per minute okay so as you can see all these are, i'm actually talking about what the physical or the tank the tangible components i'll show you how to put this in a in a proper paragraph the way that you're supposed to include it in your portfolio okay so let's move on now to some of the examples okay so this is uh this picture shows us the propellers so by propellers we mean these things these things are blades this place these are the propellers so the hobby wing it's actually this assembly uh, hobby wing is this assembly including your propellers and the motors the motors are actually in here okay so the you can see this uh, drone has a what has a tank okay so so here is a remote control mechanism right so this one is actually different some in most cases you will find uh, remote controllers that do not have a what a picture transmission so in that case you will have to use your phone to connect to the drone okay instead of having uh, the controller do everything you can control you, you can have your your, your cell phone to actually transmit images okay the controller will not have like your picture transmission so it doesn't it won't have a screen but you'll still be able to control the drone even if you don't have a screen so if you want to see the images you will need a phone to actually connect to your drone okay so let's move on okay so what do we mean then by software so <clears throat> Software is a collection of instructions that tell a device how to work. So software, like we've got two kinds of software when you're talking about the drone. There is software on the drone itself. Okay. That is, uh, the software is responsible for telling, telling the drone to actually uh, uh, rotate the blades, uh, uh, whether, okay, or the cha change the, the direction of the, of the camera make it face to a different uh, location or communicate with the sensors right to tell it okay now you are, the sensors will get information that it's actually approaching a tree and then transmit that information to the drone and then the software within the drone will then tell the drone to actually change direction and actually avoid being hit or hitting a what a tree okay so the software on the drone can communicate with uh, Android or iOS devices. This is one of the features of the software. So whether you're using an Android phone or or an iOS phone, the software can be able to handle communication between the two. Okay, the software is reliable and makes it easy to control the drone. Okay, so in some cases when the software is not reliable, you'll tell the drone to go up and it will go sideways. So. In that case, the software and the drone are not really compatible or something is wrong, okay? The drone has been programmed to avoid obstacles. So this one is an internal feature like the software for, for uh, obstacle avoidance has been installed on that particular drone. And then once it gets like the information from the sensors, you don't have to control it it can execute certain instructions without you being involved right okay so the drone the drone can actually return to home when the battery is low 
this is done by the software okay or when the tank is empty so there, there are actually sensors that are actually checking if there is still water in the tank and then when it's empty or it, it, if in some cases it, it will actually measure the weight so when it becomes light it knows that okay now we don't have like water in the tank and then it returns to home so by home we mean the starting position that's where where the drone uh, okay uh started that's your starting position so it was on the ground then started uh, going up so that is that location is your home okay the software allows the user to change default settings so you can always change your home since your home will always vary so if today you you operating the drone in one location and the next day you operating it in another location you have to make sure that okay you set your home your home position first before you fly the drone okay so in most cases the manufacturers uh, manufacturers allows buyers okay allow buyers to to download okay android or ios apps from their websites okay so if you see two uh, okay that was supposed to be allowed but anyways spelling errors i don't care about that at the moment okay so the software on the on the phones okay the app allows for one button take off and one button return to home okay so if you've installed your 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 application on your phone you can click one button and then uh the drone will 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 uh will go up and then to a particular height and then you will decide what to do with it okay if maybe it's a uh, high okay in the sky if it's high on the sky you can press one button it will return to its starting position okay so the app is customizable and users can set a new home location using the app on their phone okay we've already talked about that the app allows the user to set a trajectory for the drone okay so you can actually tell the, the set it like tell the app where to go where if you want it to maybe rotate uh, uh, around a point you can tell it to that you can set a trajectory or if you want it to traverse a particular field in a, like a, uh, using a particular di like path you can set that on the drone itself okay so okay so how then are you supposed to write this information in your portfolio here is a good example okay so for start you'll sort of like introduce what you're gonna talk about in in a short paragraph so I'm just gonna read this okay so the drone the drone that I have chosen is the H H A O Y I uh, 16 liter agricultural drone because I believe that it could help the NPO achieve its goal. In the next paragraphs, I outline some of the hardware and software features of this drone. Okay, so now we're talking about what hardware. This is how you're gonna write it. The drone has six propellers mounted to the motor using the Hobby Wing system. The Hobby Wing X8 system or assembly enables the drone to lift heavy loads and in this case the drone is able to lift up to 16 liters of water and can be in flight for 12 to 14 minutes when flying with a full tank however when the tank is empty it can be in flight for about 20 to 25 minutes you see i've taken the information that we discussed earlier and converted that to uh two paragraphs okay and remember you need to reference your sources so you're gonna write the name of the website if it's a website if it's a catalog you're still gonna reference the catalog okay so okay I think we are done with uh, number three and the next video is on number four where we're gonna briefly discuss why you you have suggested this drone to the NPO okay I hope everything is still going fine good luck guys See you on the next video.